Welcome to SNAP, Survivors of Narcissistic and Abusive Personalities. This educational recovery podcast is presented by Claremont Mental Health and Mandy Friedman, licensed professional clinical counsellor. This presentation contains vital information for survivors of abuse. Topics include the spectrum of abusive personalities, targets of abuse, abusive relationships, and survivors in recovery. We hope this information helps you gain solid footing and clarity as you navigate your road to recovery. Good morning. Good morning to survivors of narcissistic abuse. Good morning to targets of abuse. And good morning to those who are on a journey of recovery and healing. Um, There's a few things that people will say to me frequently um, in our one-on-one consultations about how they're feeling during this process. And I just wanted to do some normalizing for you. Um, One thing that I hear a lot is, I'm tired, I'm exhausted. Um, And when we're tired and exhausted, uh, our brain is not recharging. Also, you know, a lot of the traumatic events that we've experienced affects our amygdala. And um, you can Google more about your amygdala um, after this video. But your amygdala needs sleep and rest. Um, in order to, um, I don't know, recharge um, and and learn actually and reduce those feelings of anxiety, um, your fight, flight, and freeze response. So you need some sleep, but guess what? Of course you're tired, of course you're exhausted. You are burning it at both ends every day. You have um, parasitic personalities that are leeching your energy, your emotion. Um, and if you're married to one, you might as well just be walking around with a big giant parasite just like strapped to your back where you are constantly, constantly giving and giving and giving. Um, And you have to stay focused and alert because you don't know what's coming next. So yeah, you're exhausted. Um, And and most survivors feel that way. Another feeling is the feeling of pain and how painful this is. It is painful. Um, It's excruciating. It's painful to be in the relationships, but it's even more painful in a lot of ways to leave the relationship um, and then to start over and start fresh on a new path. It's painful. It is. And if you're in pain, that's normal. It that's that's the way it feels. But that pain is what motivates us to grow. The pain is a very, very important part of your journey. If we weren't in pain, why would we change? It's okay to be in pain. It's okay to feel pain. Um, it's a feeling. Emotional pain is just like physical pain in terms of how your brain responds. So when we're in emotional pain, it does take more energy to exist. So that adds to your feeling of being tired. But also sometimes we can become kind of myopic. So meaning like if I were to smash your toe with a hammer right now, you would not be able to think about anything else. When we're in emotional pain, it's very similar to that. We're very focused on the pain. But think of the pain as what's fueling you. Think of the pain as what's motivating you and that it's okay to be in pain. Um, And then the third thing would be anger. I'm so angry. I'm so angry all the time. You know what, guys? I'm angry too. (laughs) I'm so angry. Um, And if you're not angry, you're not paying attention, right? You should be angry. You have every right to be angry. You've been targeted. You've been exploited. You've poured your heart and soul into someone or or a group of people, a church perhaps, or a, a friend group. You've given your all over and over again. You've given second chances. Um, you've been easygoing even when, um, you know, you felt like you should be standing up for yourself. You've been used and abused. And so you have every right to feel angry. Um, 
anger is par for the course when we're facing injustice, when we are getting honest about our relationships in life, when we look back at abusive childhoods with parents who were not there to protect us. And, and for a lot of people, a lot of survivors, uh, that's where the abuse began was in a childhood home. You have every right to be angry. Use that anger as an energy to drive you forward through the pain um, and, and to look at it as a, as a sign that you are engaged in your process. So if you're tired, if you're in pain, and if you're angry, chances are you're a survivor of abuse working on recovery. Um, and this is what it feels like. That's why self-care is so, so important and needs to be one of your number one priorities. And in self-care, we set boundaries, we get good sleep, um, we say no to extra responsibilities as much as possible so that we can have time, downtime. Um, you know, our kids require a lot from us. And maybe this is a time when we have to say no to things with them, too. You know, um, maybe we're not doing sports this year, you know, or maybe, no, I can't drive you across uh, the city to go to this event. See if you can, you know, catch a ride with a friend. Um, and, and it's hard to say no to people, especially as an empath, right? And especially when some of us are feeling a little bit guilty about um, the fact that we are leaving the abuser and we're, we're breaking up our family, right? So we have that little bit of guilt, even though we know we're doing the right thing, we feel a little bit guilty. And so then we'll be less likely to say no um, to people we care about. But you've got to start learning how to put your needs first. And that means your well-being. Um, and if you are attending to those things, if you're attending to your sleep, if you're setting boundaries, and if you're giving yourself some me time to do nice things for yourself, exercise, read a book, Book, watch some junk TV. That's what I like to do. Um, if you're able to do those things, then that's going to help you with the pain, the exhaustion, and the anger because it's going to help you get your mind on, on some healthier things from time to time. Anyhow, I hope this was helpful and, and hopefully a good way to start your day. A good friend of mine um, sent me some encouraging texts the other night and it just well, first I had to force myself to accept the compliment, and then after that, it felt good, and, and I felt encouraged, and so I just wanted to offer some encouragement to you. It's one foot in front of the other some days, literally just one foot in front of the other, and it's hard, but it gets better, and the life that you are headed into is the life you were always meant to have, and it's the person you were always meant to be. Um, but the journey to get there is tough, and it, it is really uh, can just make you feel like that you don't have anything left, but I promise you, you do. Just keep going, and um, have a good day. If you like this podcast, subscribe and leave us a review. Find Mandy Friedman, LPCC, CCDVC on YouTube and Facebook. Join the SNAP Survivors of Narcissistic and Abusive Personalities Facebook group and follow us on Instagram at the official SNAP. Thanks for listening.